Welcome back. Welcome back into this Facebook Live. As usual, I just wait and hang around here for a couple of minutes until the people can see the notification. Hey Rita, nice to see you. Hey mom, ciao mamma. Nice to see you. Very happy that you're here with me. Today we're going to do something special that I've never done before, uh, but that I'm practicing since a while. And it's going to be a poetry meditation. Uh, because um, before we begin, so I just wait a couple of minutes until people can join us. And while we wait for people to join this poetry meditation, you can drop a comment in the section below. Potete lasciare un commento nella sezione dei sotto dei commenti and tell me from where you are um, watching this video e dirmi da dove state guardando questo video. I'm, I was thinking to do something in Italian um, for the Italian community, which is big here in Corpo Giardino, of course, because I'm Italian. So let's see. Let's see how I can develop this project and when and how. <clears throat> so take your time now to set up your sacred space. I am in my sacred space, which is my living room and where I normally practice, where I normally feel safe and comfy to do my practice. And one minute more and then we begin. Ciao. They are basically my best fun are Rita <laughs> and my mom, of course. I miei fan sono mia mamma <laughs> e Rita. It's very nice that you're always here with me. So anyway, we begin, right? <clears throat> Welcome back to Corpo Giardino Yoga Practices. My name is Andrea and I am the founder of Corpo Giardino Yoga Practices, a Swiss-based yoga company who offers not only classes in person but also online offers. And the online offers are specifically thought for women with a stressful lifestyle and or maybe high demanding job or a lot of responsibilities who wants to begin to carve out again time for themselves, um, nourish their well-being, mental, physical, emotional and spiritual well-being through the practice of yoga, through the daily practice of yoga. We have so many beautiful gifts, yoga tools that we can use daily to feel better, better to bring balance in our life. And one of the, the tools that I will introduce more and more in this a kind of offers of yes yoga but in as in this case today combined with um, art and the, today I'm going to guide a meditation we begin with the breath so the breath will be like the door opening to our inner space and when we are connected to our inner space we can receive words in a different way so we are not um, I would say locked and stuck in our rational mind and that we try to you know understand a poem or understand the meaning of a sentence when we are in that space meditation space we are more open to receive words and the feeling that comes with the words in a different way um no i don't want to interrupt this process so i will go through the process and at the end i will share with you which one so the poet the poems that i shared with you the authors where you can find some other links and the link to the blog post that i wrote this week about art and spirituality because i do believe that art is a spiritual practice uh, not only as an artist but also as a receiver of an art which are a dance performance and a performance a, 
theater piece or a painting or a piece of music, poetry, no matter, it doesn't matter. In both cases, we, the experience that we have, the journey that we go through, the sensations, the emotions that we go through are part are spiritual for me, for me at least, are part of a spiritual path. And combining these elements together, yoga and art, in this case poetry, um, it's very powerful. Last thing before, before we begin, I'm not an actress, so the way that I'm going to read, of course, these two poems um, I practice, so I, I will do my best, for, of course, to in order to to be with the words and with the poems, but I'm not sharing this as a performance, but as a, another tool to have a deeper conversation with ourselves, okay? So let's begin in a comfortable seated position. You can sit on a chair. You could also lay down on your bed here, why not? If you're tired today, you can sit on a bolster or on a meditation pillow. And let's begin by simply closing your eyes. Relax your shoulders down. Relax your Space, create space between your teeth. Soften your eyes. And land into your body. Starting from the head, land on your chest. Feel your chest, your diaphragm, your belly. Your pelvic floor and your legs. Feel the space inside you and around you. Like there were no borders. Let's begin using our breath our as a as a bridge, as a door to get in contact with a deeper space inside us. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Inhale in your belly. And then bring your inhale to your chest. Begin the exhalation in your chest to then end it in your belly. It's like a wave. Inhale, it's belly. Chest. Exhale, chest. And then feel the belly. Inhale, belly. Chest. Exhale, chest. Belly. Three more on your own.
go on your hands, on your legs. And just keep feeling your breath in the body. Keep your eyes closed. Enjoying this space. The yoga space in your inner universe. It's not a physical place, it's a mental, physical, emotional and spiritual space. And with your eyes closed, just receive the words that I'm about to share with you. With, without analysis of the meaning of the poem or the rational mind. So we quiet with the rational mind and we light up our emotional hemisphere, the emotional mind, the right hemisphere of the body to enjoy. Practice. The first poem. Not the high mountain monastery I had hoped for. The real face of my spiritual practice is this. The sweat that pearls on my cheek when I tell you the truth. My silent cry in the night when I think I'm alone. The trembling in my own hand as I reach out through the years of overcoming to touch what I hoped I would never need again. Again, stay here with your eyes closed. Allow the words to arise. Observe your feeling, your sensation. Deepen your breath if you need. Stay with your eyes closed while I keep reading the second text. We are the sky. Silence is what we are. When we accept this, we become the sky. The sky is everywhere and nowhere, just as we are when we accept our own silence. Everything appears and disappears within us, within the sky. Not the sky we see overhead, but the sky of the cosmos, the breath in which the universe appears. Clouds, plain, flock of birds, spiral of dreams, Mountains, words upon words, space dust and starlight all appear in the sky without filling the sky. The sky contains everything. We are the sky. So again, let's remain here. Receiving the words. Observe your feelings, your sensations, your inner universe. So then practice another breath 
technique to close this circle. 4, 4, 8, so 4 counts. Inhale, 4 counts. Hold the breath, 8 counts. Exhalation. Take a nice inhale with your nose for 2, 3, 4. Hold your breath, 2, 3, 4. Exhale with your mouth open for 8, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Two more. Inhale with your nose for two, three, four. Hold your breath. Exhale with your mouth open for eight, six, five, four, three. Two, one, last one, inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath, exhale for eight, Power the chin to your sternum. Keep the neck soft and place both hands together in front of your heart center. As a gesture of collecting in our energy, collecting in our attention to say thank you. And to see the inner universe we have inside of us, all of us has an inner universe that is big and vast and infinite. We are also that. I thank you for being here with me. Simply open your eyes. If you want or you can stay in this bubble take your time to go back to what you were doing before um, take it easy and if you have a journaling habit in your day-to-day -day life you can write down things how you felt if you have feedback I would love to hear from you, even if you're watching the replay or if you're watching the, um, the Facebook Live right now, you can write me. You can always write me in the private message, using my email, all the things that you can want to use to have a feedback. And I'm also curious to know if you consider art as a form of spirituality. If yes, if the answer is yes, which form of art, of art do you prefer? What is the, which one is the one that speaks to you and to your soul? So I'll see you next week uh, before I leave. Last announcement before I close this Facebook Live. There are still spots available for Sunday, this Sunday, the 21 of February, for the breath and... Um, yin yoga journey of 90 minutes we're going to begin with the breath it's a long journey so it's a long class um, we begin with the breath to again get in, talk, in contact with our inner universe then the journey continues with the practice of yin yoga of one hour of yin yoga where we continue of course to combine the breath and yin and then for the last part as we did today we're going to finish with a meditation guided by two poems that i really chose yesterday i mean i had a lot of uh, options beautiful options and inspiring options uh, but in the last week i really chose the two that i want to share with you and so i really can't wait to go through this 
beautiful journey and process there are still spots available if you want I'll, I'll also leave the link of the event in this post so you can have a look again i wish a beautiful rest of the day it's sunny here in switzerland almost spring almost summer um a weekend and see you next week for another facebook live and if you have something that you would love to practice specifically you know what to do you just have to tell me and contact me okay bye everyone thank you